liquid is poured into a bucket at the rate of 60. Why we notice that you have the word red but liquid? What's that? Liquid with a red. Don't write DLDT, okay? <laughs> so sometimes you don't see any uh, words like area, volume, and you are unsure about what the 60 means. Sometimes you can just catch it because there's a unit here, cm cube. So this one is actually volume. So imagine I pour liquid with this rate, that means the volume is flowing at the rate. Okay? So for this question, it's just to understand that this is dv dt. There's no volume written in front, okay? You just say liquid. Alright, so another clue is from the unit you will know. That's the 60. And then volume is given. Okay, so this one good. You can start with doing a differentiation if you want. And then we need to find the rate of increase in the depth. So if you read the question, the depth algebra is given as x. So this is x. So question A, we are going to find the x dt. Now since the question has v, we are just going to proceed with differentiation first. Then we will do a chain rule later. So let's uh, look at question 7. Okay, I'm given V so I can directly do dV dx. Okay, this is a simple differentiation. Multiply 3 to the front. Reduce power by 1, so about 2. Times 2 to 2.2, that's 4.4. Reduce power, so you get x, and the last one is just 200, okay? So we have, uh, we're given in question part A as x as 10, so we can just replace value of x as 10. I'm going to see what I get here from my calculator. I have 247. So I'm happy with that. I have differentiation. Let's proceed to question A that they're asking for. I'm just going to write A here anyway. Question A, they're asking for rate of increase of depth. Okay, dx, dt, that's depth. So I split dx and dt. So that's going to be v and v here. Okay, so once again, we want to be careful. Read again, dx dv, this is dv dx, so this one I'm going to put 1 over 247. And the rate of volume just now was 60. Later I'll tell you why you will know if it's, you forgot to put reciprocal, okay? So let me just write my answer here first. This one should be a 0 0.243 cm. Okay, this one is x, huh? so it's just cm per second. Now... Let me just quickly type a calculator. I'll use a red pen to indicate. Okay, So what if you forgot a reciprocal here? So I, I ask you to be careful over here, right? Be careful. Okay. So what if, let's say, you forgot and you can type the 247 times 60. You get 14820 cm per second, correct? Now, I want you to think. Sometimes one of the checking in your math paper is called a logical check. You look at the volume, the volume increased at 60, 60 cm cubed per second, and volume is like a three dimension, okay? So the depth increased by this one a bit, okay? Volume can increase that one. You look at this answer, the depth increased by so much per second, you just think whether it's logical or not. Then you'll know like something wrong. So the one that would be your mistake will be the reciprocal part already. Okay, so for this question, you can just do a logical checking because you know that volume increased that much. Then look at this radius, can't be so much more. Okay, Incre uh, imagine the depth. Okay, this is a lot, okay? So it doesn't make sense. So this one is wrong. In case you forgot about reciprocal, you can actually quickly check by a logical checking of the value, all right? The, because the volume only changes at 60, okay? That's not very much. All right, good. We're done with question A. Okay, how about question B? Question B, you are given find the depth of liquid. Okay, I'm just going to use red for now. Now, the, the find word is up here. So, find depth of liquid means x equal question mark. Okay, find depth of liquid. We are given rate of increase. So, the word increase is good. So, this 0 0.2 uh, is your dx dt. Okay, so now we know dx dt. So, we are pending for 
x value. Okay? So, let's see how we start here. Question B. Okay? <clears throat> so, um, let's start by writing a chain rule of dv dx. I write dv dx because we know that we have dv dx here, okay? Oh, sorry, not dv dx. I start dv dt. Because I know I have dv dx here, okay? I want this to be nice, dv dx, so I can write times dx dt over here. Okay? This dv dt is given from the first part of question, which is 60. Okay? Now, I say before the dv dx, you want to stop here, fine. But I'm going to leave it first so that it can equate later. dx dt value for part b is given as 0 0.2. So I'm going to do 0 0.2. Now, you notice that I can't use this dvdx value of 247. This 247 is because I know the value of x is 10. Okay, just to let you know. For question B, we are going to find x equals to question mark. This one. So, I cannot use this 247 as dvdx. So, this dvdx should be this line here that is like a general value of dv dx for any value of x. Okay, if you get that. So this 2 for 7 is specifically for when x is 10. So for this question, I don't know x, so I can only use this general value of dv dx. Okay, so I'm going to just use a chain to find what is the dv dx value first. I'll do one more step. So it's going to be 60 divided by 0 0.2. Let me see what answer I have here. 300. Okay, I get 300 here. So now I'm going to use this equation. 0 0.03x squared plus 4.4x plus 200 is equal to this dx, dv dx value of 300. Okay, so let's arrange to 0 or you want to multiply to get rid of the decimal first also can. I'm going to just minus first 200 minus 300. That's minus 100. I make to 0. So you see this decimal, I need to move decimal by two places. That's multiplied by 100. So I multiply by 100 each term. This one times 100. That will give you um, 440. This one times 100, you just have 40. Okay? Oh, this one, if you key in calculator, I'm going to skip this factorizing step. Calculator answer has given me answer as 20. Second answer as negative 500 over 3. Okay, so I get this from calculator value. Let's swap it into factorization. So 20, that will be a x minus 20. This one, the 3 moved to the front, it will be a 3x. Minus 500 become a plus 500. Let's check my value. Oh, yeah, okay, correct. Okay. All good. And this question, you remember, is the depth of the liquid. So we are finding a depth question mark. You remember this one is depth. So this value, I can already take this one. So our answer, the depth value will be 20. What's the measurement? Cm. So Cm. Okay, so this is being rejected. But I will write it again, okay? 